In this video, I will be showing you what I believe to be one of the most effective ways to counter an opponent who won't stop sticking you with that jab to the body from long range. First, let's understand what makes the jab to the body so effective and so hard to counter. Why do so many fighters fall in love with the jab to the body? For starters, it's extremely versatile. It can be used to rack up points, disrupt your opponent's breathing, force resets, maintain distance, or just annoy an opponent who's trying to take a breath and recover. Of course, it's also a great way to set up other offense, as well as hand control options and different level change feints. Because there's so much you can do with the body jab, it becomes tough to predict, which makes it tough to counter. But what truly makes the jab to the body so effective and so hard to counter is built-in defense. Not only does the body jab move the head offline, which means you can plug it in anywhere you would use an outside slip for counters or defense, but it tucks your head into the back bottom corner head slot, basically down over your rear hip, which is about the safest position you can achieve while still advancing with offense. The punch mechanics naturally move your head back towards that rear hip, while the punch itself naturally pushes your opponent towards their back hip. The counter puncher would have to act very quickly to cover that huge gap, and most people struggle to do so, especially because that distance would only give you a few long range attack options. So we know the body jab is safe, effective, and tough to counter, but not impossible. I submit to you Mikey Garcia's back end body jab counter that uses the inside slip or turn block mechanic along with an elbow parry to simultaneously move the head offline, knock that punch aside, and set up a heavy counter shot with the lead hand. Importantly, this is more of a counter position than it is a counter punch. In other words, this technique will put you in a position to do a whole bunch of things. Here we'll focus specifically on landing that power jab, hook, or uppercut. But from this position, the world is your oyster. You can pivot out, bump in, initiate a hand fight, close the gap and work on the inside, or even throw some cheeky little rear hand punches, almost like jabbing with your power hand. I am personally not a huge fan of the front end cross counter over top of the body jab because that only works if your opponent initiates this punch from too close or leans forward. In other words, that counter relies on technical mistakes from your opponent. Don't go like, don't shoot down, don't shoot at an angle. Hand right there and I go like this and he shoots his right hand, I'm gonna be, um, it's going to be a bad situation. This counter on the other hand is designed to work even against a technically perfect pot shotter who's lighting you up from long range. So let's talk about what makes this counter punch position so effective. First of all, this counter technique shifts your weight onto the front hip which not only loads the lead hand for power, but also helps you reach the opponent. Secondly, this counter technique uses a common mechanic, which involves a full body rotation and head slot change that could easily be read as an inside slip, a turn block, or the first part of a pivot or a step shuffle. So then, like the body jab itself, this body jab counter technique is tough to read and unpredictable. And really, it's not as high commitment of a move as it seems. It doesn't lock you into any set follow-up or combination or limit you to a certain exit. And best of all, maybe, is that common mechanics are very easy to learn. In fact, there's a good chance if you are even a beginner, but definitely an intermediate or advanced boxer, you already know the mechanics that underpin this counter technique. So it should be pretty easy to add to your arsenal. What I'm doing is keeping my back straight turning my shoulders and exploding with my legs. Here, I'm not bending my back. And if you're not a boxer, that's okay. This is not a glove dependent counter. We use the elbow to deflect the punch, not a big cushy glove. So whether you're an MMA, Muay Thai, or bare knuckle boxing enthusiast, this will work and it's easy to pick up. Lastly, the thing I like most about this technique is that it exploits a good defensive habit 
that many body jabbers will build to stay safe from the right hand. But key thing is I need to have my off hand in front of my face because I'm leaning right to his right hand. See, if I don't have my hand right there and I go like this and he shoots his right hand, I'm gonna be, um, it's gonna be a bad situation. That is pretty sound advice from Boxing Fit Factory, but we can exploit that tip, loop our power lead hook around that cross guarding rear hand and do some big damage. Silent thunder and in two companions The sound of clear water and mist through a grove Met in the woods after the evening meditation To discuss the current situation